What's up, guys? It's your boy Kimchi. And your girl Tofu. Yeah! <laughs> Shokugeki team. Team All Star. The declaration of war. We're going all out. Who's Team Central and who's Team Saiba? Yeah, Team Saiba and Team Central. We're, we're gonna see who's Team Central in our community, alright? We are going to be going straight into episode number 21. You stupid. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, we're going into this episode number 21, so... Let's start the show. Yeah. One against 50. That's so freaking crazy. How do, you, how do you even do that? <laughs> Devil is no wonder why his name is Demon. Demon. Yes. There, no time. more more backstory. Dude, Who's these guys aren't training. Oh yeah, all of them. Oh wow. No mercy. <laughs> she's not she doesn't even need a train. She's so cool. Story time again. Finally. The star of their generation was Joichiro. Oh wow. He lost so many times. <laughs> <laughs> so he felt like he didn't if, if he showed up. Yeah. Oh! Oh, flashback! Wow. Dojima looks so different. <laughs> She's still old. I thought she was supposed to be younger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. The dad. <laughs> he, he, he looks up to him, that's why, right? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this guy's such like a total different person. Yeah, he is. He's he's so, so soft. Yeah, very soft. <laughs> Single swing of his chef's knife. Wow. He's really badass during this time. Yeah. Oh, he's badass now. It's <laughs> still. <laughs> Oh, the legendary Sanins. <sighs> Orochimaru. Oh, that food looks good. <laughs> oh. So crazy how Yukihira Soma is gonna be just like him when he gets old, right? Yeah, exactly like him. I feel like Dojima Gin is the, like the Aldini brother. Yeah, he is like the, exactly like the Aldini brother too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Xiaomi. <laughs> oh god, he just shoved it in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this is like the huge, really huge competition. Yeah. I wonder if this is like the 50 people he competed against? Right. What? Why would people say that? The, I, the better they are, you know, the more people succeed, the more hate and all that they're gonna get. That's true. But he's beaten so many people in Shoku Geki Square. I mean, 
Oh, so this is where the first team Shokugeki was? Oh. Against against this, you know, <laughs> beautiful lips guy. He does have very big, beautiful lips. First bout, Victor. Wow, he's just cleaning house right now. Next, Whoa. next. <laughs> he has such a pretty face back when he was young. He's he's very pretty and handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quit your baby. Yeah, come on, man. Why are you scared now? So what does he win if <laughs> everyone's knocked out? Right. Ah, yes. The demon. <laughs> it's so crazy now, after knowing his backstory, how he ended up with just a small diner. Yeah, how did that happen? This, is, this wow. must be where it started. Where there was an entrance exam for there because everybody wanted in. One, wanted in, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep your dignity. Come on. Sorry, you're listening it today. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that, that that guy, the old man now? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> Looks like him. So he won the blue competition. <laughs> feel like there's no more challenge for him now. He wants a challenge. <laughs> Oh, he's not happy. He's bored. He looks like he's falling down. He's depressed. What, too much pressure is it? That's what it sounds like. Too much pressure. Pressure. Yeah. Seems like he doesn't have any more motivation or drive, right? He's just pressure, too too much pressure, mm -hmm. yeah. So this is where he leaves? Mm -hmm. No freedom. He had no freedom to cook. Ah, that's what it was. He's not even himself. No, I wonder what happened to him. Yeah, no room to breathe. Man, it's just a matter of time before he loses it, you know? Yeah. It looks like Soma's on. <laughs> Did he... he fall asleep? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, his dad has fun cooking again. Yeah, and he has a couple drinks and so he wants to, you know, just have some fun. <laughs> Oh, now, you know, now, now I understand why he just got a small diner, you know? He didn't want he too just, much pressure. Yeah, he just wants to enjoy and just love what he does. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Nothing about the wife. <gasps> Soma was the one. They saved his dad. Back into cooking. <laughs> oh, so can you imagine when Soma first came in and then Gin, uh, Gin saw him? I wonder how he felt. You know, we didn't really see, right? Yeah. We didn't really see how he really felt, but I. Like the moment Yukihira Soman came into Totsuki and I'm sure when Gin first saw him, he's just like, oh, there's there's the angel. Like there <laughs> there he is, right? Yeah. Cause now looking at it now the past is just like that's how much you know, cause he was basically his best friend. But you remember Dojima when he first saw him at the what was that thing, the camp? He didn't know that that was him till later after he kept thinking of his name. Oh shoot! Okay, yeah. I you know it, it's crazy because like you know he says like when you're too good at something, it can turn against you, and you know maybe that's that 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 might be true. You know, it's just someone like him. He's always like up there, up there. I, I'm sure he just felt so much pressure, so much pressure that he just he he felt like he's losing himself. So you just you just don't know. You, you know? don't know till it's gone. Not well, not not you don't know till it's gone, but you just don't know where you're going because you're always like trying to meet people's expectations, and you're trying to meet the next goal. Then you're trying to meet the next goal. You're trying to stay up here, stay, stay, stay up here, because everyone's trying to, you know, everyone's pressuring you, and you keep doing it until you realize you're not happy. You're not having fun doing this anymore. It's getting boring because you have, you know, this is one of the things that um, I saw in one of uh, PewDiePie's video, <clears throat> and. You know the the pressure that he was in, where you know he was one of the biggest YouTuber and he was doing a lot of games, scary games, and you know all, all these games which he started off enjoying. Mm -hmm. He he enjoyed it, but later on, you know as he gets keeps getting bigger, you know people were expecting him to make create certain kind of videos. People uh... were requesting certain kind of things. People were saying, play this, only play this, and to a point where it pushed him, where he was just like, I'm so tired of just doing this. It's not making, it's not making him happy, and you know, uh, he just feels the pressure. So uh, that's why he, you know, one of in his video it says that he he was so tired of the game Amnesia that he's been playing so long. And he, he just took a risk and was like, you know, I, it's okay. If my views go down, my subs go down, or anything goes down, that's fine. But I want to do what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why his content now is different from gaming. Oh. His, his content changed. And now he just does what he wants to do. And what he said that was, he once he changed the content, he mm -hmm. felt happier. Oh, and once good. he felt happier, people saw that he was happier and he said that he thought that once he changes, it's gonna go down mm -hmm. but instead, it, it went up, it went up. Oh. and that's how he's at the 65 million subscribers right now Wow And that just goes with everything, it's just that, you know, sometimes when you're just so caught into some kind of obsession and then this whole pressure thing takes over mm -hmm. You know, it's it's truly understandable. You know, it it really is. It, it's it's the same thing as probably if you know, let's say we were like so great in reaction. Okay, we're like the top reaction. We do so great and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And we're doing we're trying to meet people's expectations every time, every day. But the thing is, we started off doing this something that we enjoyed. Yes. But we keep trying to go meet people's expectation. You know, all that, and later on, eventually, it'll just start shadowing everything 
what you what you were so wanted to, why you wanted what, to do this why and what you wanted to do in the first place and that's why you see a lot of successful people maybe out there and that might be feeling the same way yeah there's you know? a lot of people <clears throat> out there that feel that way yeah and a lot of people are thinking like oh you you know you're in this position you're in this but you're so lucky just like the kids like wow saiba senpai i want to be like him or he's such cool so cool like geniuses have it easy but you know on the real life, in the real sense, you know, you saw what goes inside inside his head, inside his mind was that he was he was struggling, he was depressed, he was so tired of it. Which yeah, which is sad, but but that's why I like this anime too because there's so many parts in it that can be so relatable. It is yes, and it it's nice and refreshing. I mean, like it's it's different, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's so it's so nice to see that Yukihira Soma was one of the lifesaver for you know um, Saiba Joichiro. What I'm curious is we are gonna start getting into why Nakiri, mm -hmm. the dad, turned to because I guess when Demon left, it affected him so much that he it drove him to <clears> the <throat> state. Yeah, it drove him to the state, and there was no no one next to him during that time, and yeah. he was alone. So he took in all that heartbreakingness because he just left and he took it all in and that's why he probably he became who he is now and that's why he you know having him on the line and that's why his dad probably know, knew that how much he looked up to him that he will take the shokugeki if he knows that demon will join him man just now watching this now, now i understand everything I understand everything about the demon. Well, this is... I really like this episode a lot. I really did. Me too. You know, I was expecting a shokugeki and, you know, I expected more action and all that stuff. But I really like this episode. I'm very happy with this. Me too. I got what I wanted. The more of the backstory. Thank you, shokugeki, for listening to me. <laughs> wow, the writing is unbelievable, man. Yeah. Wow, really this is, is like A++ writing. Oh man, and I guarantee if I watched this by myself, I would have probably cried. Yeah, I felt like I wanted to cry, yeah. but I didn't. Fantastic episode. We're going to go straight into the next one on episode number 22, guys. Thank you guys for joining us on this one. So we will see you guys on episode 22. It's kimchi. And tofu. Yeah. yeah.